This saga began eight hours and almost two and a half thousand kilometers ago on a dirt track in the middle of nowhere. Was she bitten? About an hour, Doctor. Do you know what sort of snake it was? Mulga snake. There are two people right now who'd be paralyzed for life or dead if it were not for an outback policeman, the radio, and the men and women who make sure that no Australian anywhere is beyond medical care. That night, the pilot crossed three state boundaries and flew the equivalent of Paris to Rome and back to London. To run that sort of network across a country the size of Australia takes expertise, equipment, and money. Top equipment and top dollars. That's what this video is all about. It's about the greatest aerial medical service in the world. And it's about making sure that here, in this massive continent, proper medical help is just an hour and a half from anywhere. There's a deep emotional bond with these planes and these people across 80% of the Australian continent. I lived as a kid in the country in the 1930s, and I have a tremendous respect for the flying doctor service. I'm asking you, as an individual, or representing a corporation or trust, to be part of it. Part of maintaining and improving the standard of making sure that every Australian has access to proper medical care, and that in emergencies, no one anywhere need be more than an hour and a half from medical help. Following its inception in 1962, the foremost artistic objectives of the Australian Ballet have been to create a full-time company of Australian dancers of the highest calibre and to develop Australian choreographers, composers and designers. The Australian Ballet needs your help to continue its artistic excellence. There are two areas that need urgent attention, extra dancers and new productions. 
The present complement of 60 dancers is well below its international counterparts, which range from 85 to 200 dancers. This puts tremendous strain on the dancers, particularly in the major three-act ballets and the diverse range of contemporary styles that have been introduced into the repertoire. There are few artistic companies that are as well known and highly regarded as the Australian Ballet. It's your national living treasure and your support will ensure that the Australian Ballet will remain our cultural treasure and ambassador well into the next century and beyond. I urge you to give as generously as you are able to this most worthwhile appeal. Of course I can do it. And I'm going to show you once and for all. I guess I'm in trouble now. <laughs>